Want to know how to live in a more sustainable way but don't know where to begin? I'm going to show you 10 different ways how you can live in a more sustainable way when it comes to nutrition and food. Hello my dear friends, Raisa here from The NutriNet. Welcome to another video. I know many of us have been reading up on the seriousness of climate change, of sustainability, of taking better care of the environment, and we might want to be making those moves and taking those steps in the right direction, but are not really sure where to even begin, because there are so many different areas that you can start that it can feel a little bit overwhelming. And that's why I wanted to focus with you guys on nutrition and on food. When it comes to nourishing your body, there are many things that you can be doing. A lot of these tips will actually be minimal effort. So easy to implement, nothing expensive, nothing fancy, just living in a more sustainable way or eating in a more sustainable way. So tip number one is probably one that you have already heard about, but it's bring your reusable bags to the supermarket. Now this is one my sister gave me um, a Christmas gift a couple of years back and it came in this little bag, which <laughs> which I have been saving because um, I still have other ones. So this is, this one is brand new, but get all those little reusable bags that you've gotten throughout the years. Cause I'm sure that if you check in your um, garage and the bottom of your bed, you know, and really in the back of your closet, you're going to find a bunch of reusable bags that you can start taking to the supermarket. That way you'll avoid the plastic bag. Now I know that some of us will use that plastic bag as um, the little bag for the trash can i do that myself but i have to say that the amount that i was getting from the supermarket to the compared to the amount that i was actually using was significantly higher i wasn't using that much and didn't need that much so this is a very good way to start cutting back on some of the plastic because as we know plastic does not break down very easily in fact it can be like thousands and of years you know <laughs> for it to actually break down so um taking bringing home like five different bags every single week does take a really big toll in the planet and that is something that is very simple it's not going to cost you any money because for the most part you already have one of these bags like i said lying around and all you have to do really is get a little bit more organized right so if you feel you have to wash these bags by the way you don't want to always keep using them the same ones because they can accumulate dirt bacteria all this stuff that you don't want to be coming into contact with your food but it's a matter of what you can wash it once every other week and always have it in the back of your car in your trunk so whenever you stop by the supermarket you already have it with you at all times for tip number two we're still at the supermarket and what we're going to be doing is basically focusing more on fresh foods as opposed to things that come in plastic now this is also really great not only for the planet but also for our bodies because if you focus on fresh foods so we're talking mainly about your fruits and your vegetables and things that are not extremely processed preferably not being processed at all um, like in the case of your produce this is where you're going to get the most of your nutrition the least amount also of ingredients that you don't want to necessarily be putting into your body like excessive sugar additives flavoring you know any artificial stuff that you really don't want to be having on a regular basis and while we are at it in the produce section say no to those little bags that they have um you know to put your lemons or oranges or whatever you don't need those you know um just you know have it in your reusable bag you don't need to have a specific bag for your tomatoes a specific bag for your lemons and whatever else you want to add if you think about it um it might be a little bit of a barrier where you might think oh i might be getting it dirty but um you don't know where that fruit and veggie has been anyway so you are gonna have to wash it when you get home anyway so you might as well pass on the plastic bag and just make better choices for the planet so tip number three is all about being more plant-based, focusing more on plant-based. Now, this does not mean that you have to go vegan and just 100% of your meals not having anything that comes from animals, but it is a more sustainable way of eating when you focus more on your fruits and your vegetables, on grains, beans, legumes. All of these are a lot more sustainable because it requires less natural resources to actually grow and to go from seed to our plate. Tip number four, 
go back to the kitchen, cook more, focus more on home cooked, homemade meals, as opposed to things that are processed, that comes in packaging, takeout, dining out, all of this stuff. The reason for that, from a nutrition point of view, that is honestly the healthiest way to nourish your body because you have full control over the quality of the ingredients that you're gonna put into your dishes. Now, from a planet point of view, it's less packaging, right? You can do, you can make better decisions. You can buy your foods outside of plastic, um, and also it's like less, you know, wrappers, less little packets of sauces, the plastic utensils, all of the stuff that usually is included when we talk about dining out. Tip number five: It's all about avoiding food waste. Now this is a really big one because about one third of the food that is produced in the world actually ends up being thrown out somehow, either because we're letting it go to waste or it's not getting purchased in the supermarket because it's kind of an ugly produce and nobody wants it. Or, you know, in the restaurants it gets thrown out. There are so many different steps of the process where food is just being thrown out. And it's kind of insane to think that there are so many people that don't have access to good quality food every single day, yet a third of what we are producing is ending up in the trash. Something you can do about it is actually avoiding food waste at home. And something that I really like to incorporate into my routine is embracing leftover Fridays, which is basically as it sounds, you know, on Friday, you're gonna go into your fridge, see all the fruits and veggies that are already kind of going, you know, that are not so fresh anymore. Any dishes that you made from earlier in the week also that you have to get eating so it doesn't go bad. So Fridays, I just kind of see whatever is happening and I make sure that I finish everything. Even though sometimes like combinations might sound absolutely banana nuts, it is so delicious. I guarantee you, you're gonna find different combinations that you have never even imagined were so good together. When we're talking about fruits, uh, what you can do is always, if it's we're talking about like banana or something, banana bread, hello. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can include it into your ba into any baked um, goods that you want to make, or you can make smoothies, or you can make juices. So honestly, possibilities endless. If we're talking about berries, you can make jams. Like there are so many different things that you can do. Make sure that you are not generating waste. Next up is buy what you need. Now I don't know how this sounds to you. If it's something like oh that's you know easy peasy or it's like oh my gosh you know I'm so impulsive and I have shiny ball syndrome and I get very tempted to just buy whatever I see so it's about it's not that you can never ever buy anything that you don't need but it's just making the conscious effort whether it's in the supermarket you know if uh, you already have some potatoes at home Take that into consideration. Don't get extra things that you won't be able to finish and to eat um, and it'll end up going through the trash. Now, if we're talking about this, this kind of lifestyle, let's say, can extend even into your day to day. Um, do we need to upgrade the newest iPhone if our phone works perfectly fine? No, we don't. Um, do we need to get, you know, the new tennis shoes because it has like a different color that you just absolutely love. You know, in reality, no, we don't. And it's a really great way to not only live in a more sustainable way, but also you're gonna end up saving so much money. You're gonna see, guys, this is like a, a, a life hack for me <laughs> in a way because it just solves so many issues that we currently have. This next tip I absolutely love. It is has so many benefits. That's basically start an herb garden. Now, the reason why I suggest herb garden is that if you're not into the whole gardening thing just yet, or if you don't have the space for it, because a lot of us do live in apartments and you might not have a backyard, or you live somewhere that's super cold, um, that has really harsh winter, so um, it's not always the most doable thing, depending where you are, depending on your life. But an herb garden is actually something that can be done inside the house on any single window that you have going on. So the reason why I love this tip so much is because you will be avoiding buying spices or you know herbs in plastic in the supermarket, which that is, which that is great already. 
The second thing is your cooking, your dishes are gonna become so much more flavorful, so much more nutritious because as soon as you pluck something out of nature, it already starts losing some of its benefits. So if you pluck and use it immediately, you're getting the most nutrition right then and there. And the other thing is when you buy herbs in you know, the supermarket, in the store, um, it's coming from somewhere. So it's being transported also. It's a lot of steps. It's a lot of things that kind of happen along the way that do contribute, not in the huge, huge, huge scale, but it does have its participation, let's say, on not being so eco-friendly. And it's something that you can very easily do at home. And it's very rewarding to cook with what you planted from your little garden. So when it comes to your pantry, try your best to do it in bulk, buy in bulk, find places where you can buy instead of the tiny bags of rice, the tiny bags of lentil. If it's something that you use a lot, try to get it in bigger quantities. Not only that, but if you can find locations, which I know it's not super common, unfortunately, I wish there were more locations, but there are places where you can bring your containers and fill up um, your pantry items and kind of shop in that way. Um, and if that's not accessible to you, there are actual shops online um, where you can buy things, where you can buy your pantry items and they come in compostable bags, which I find so amazing. I fell in love with that concept because I myself don't have the easiest access to a location where I can just refill my pantry essentials and I always feel so guilty whenever I'm out of lentils or whenever I need to buy quinoa or something like that and it's like ugh, another plastic bag. So look for either a place near you where you can fill up your reusable containers or try to find options where they have more eco-friendly packaging. I'm gonna include in the link um, a place that I found very recently where all of their pantry items come in uh, compostable bags. And if you don't have a way of composting in your place, in your house, in your where in your location, you can even, they have a program where you can send back your bags and they will take care of it for you. Now this company is called Sun and Swell Foods. I will provide the link in the bottom and I can't encourage you guys enough to check it out. This next one, we've heard it over and over and over and over again. <laughs> Ditch the plastic water bottles, really. That is like the one thing that you can do that is gonna save you money, it's gonna save the planet. Plastic water bottles are like a curse in this world, kind of like straws. Um, it's something that you don't need to be purchasing for the most part. Now, I'm not including areas that might have, that might not have access to clean water. A lot of places in the US have access to clean water or there are ways that you can implement filters in your house and avoid using plastic water bottles. And whenever you're on the go, guys, have your reusable little bottles with you. I mean, again, same example as the reusable bags. For the most part, I can guarantee that you have some old little, you know, whether it's made out of plastic, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. Just have something that you're using more than once because the, the whole one-time use, it's like a one-time, it's a, it's a one-time thing that lasts for a lifetime, not in a romantic and good way. And last but not least, this kind of ties in with the previous tip, which is about water bottles. Same kind of applies when we're talking about juices or, um, you know, coffee beverages. There are so many different options in the supermarket that not only are they not great for you because in terms of ingredients, a lot of times they're very high in sugar and, and even artificial ingredients, you know, things that you don't want to be consuming on a regular basis, but they also come in either plastic and even the ones that come in glass. Glass is a step up from uh, plastic, but it's not something also that you want to be consuming so often because it also has a very hard time being broken down um, when it comes to, you know, the earth 
the planet dealing with with that product. I'm also gonna include in the comments section a video that I have done in the past that basically debates that which one's better, glass or plastic. Check that out and let me know your thoughts. There you have it. These are my main tips for living in a more sustainable way when we're talking specifically about nutrition. As you could see, there are a lot of different ways that you can embrace a more eco-friendly way of living. Now, 10 tips might seem like a lot and it's not something that we're going to do, be doing overnight. I myself make mistakes, I'm not perfect. The tips that I included over there are something that I'm actively working towards every single day and making the effort to implement that into my lifestyle. I still forget my reusable bags, you know, whether I take it out of the car for some reason and then I end up having to go to the store. Um, there are times where maybe I'm feeling a little bit on the lazier side and don't cook, or we get takeout and it still comes in, you know, all the packaging, styrofoam, and there's so much guilt that happens, um, which is why we always have to remember that it's a matter of caring enough to make a difference. I hope you found these tips helpful and if you haven't done so, make sure to subscribe to the Nutrinet YouTube channel so you don't miss another video.